What about work-wise? Oh, oh. <laughs> come on. Okay, you want to know? Yeah, I do. I, I don't want to work as hard. I don't want to succeed in a patriarchal way anymore. I want to bring the feminine to this next phase of my life. So, you know, I feel a little bit like your post-Oprah moment. You know, it's like I, as an author, feel like I've hit the pinnacle of something really amazing. So now I sit here and go, why? Why am I working so hard? I want to inspire, I'm like you, I want to be on the forefront of spiritual teaching and, and leading the, the changes in thought. But do I have to do a 10 hour work day to accomplish that? And what I'm learning is that my own creativity actually comes in the quiet. So this about a week ago, I canceled like half of my travel. I canceled interviews and I just made a stand that I'm going to have a summer for the first time. I'm actually going to play like I did as a kid and I'm just going to enjoy this life of that I've created. I have never, everybody that knows me is like, are you okay? What's wrong? Like I have been on a go, go machine and that journey helped me see I don't want to do that anymore. That's amazing. That's amazing, amazing right? Amazing. So, and when we look at like how the patriarch has taught us, it has been in order to achieve something, you better work your ass off very much like you just said right. when we look at the younger generation we're like what do you mean you don't want to work so hard but what if the new paradigm that's emerging is coming through fluidity and it's bringing that femininity forward and in the femininity there needs to be softness yeah that softness is actually how we go further